Resident Evil has been around for 25 years and has many sad moments over those years and well in today's video we are going to be looking at some of the most saddest moments and deaths or just tear jerking moments but if you guys do go on to enjoy today's video guys can you show your support by liking this video and subscribing it does go a long way but this list will be in no particular order and will show the saddest moments over the Resident Evil series. Starting out with number one, Luis Sierra. Luis Sierra is a character in Resident Evil 4 and he helped in the making of Los Illuminados. He meets Leon Kennedy when they both get captured and helps Leon progress on his mission to help slow the spread of the Los Plagas inside Leon's body. But unfortunately, he meets his demise at the hands of Sadler. But what hits harder is Luis was trying to help Leon by giving his pills to him to help slow down the spread. And unfortunately, he succumbs to his injuries and dies. Number two, Pierce Nivens is Chris's partner in Resident Evil 6, and he witnesses Chris go through hell, but he keeps him on his toes and also lifts him up during the events of the game. But bad things go wrong, and Pierce is badly injured when the duo is being pursued by a BOW, and Pierce takes a fatal blow, severing himself and his arm, making him take the virus and injecting himself to save Chris. But eventually, in the ending, Pierce stays behind so Chris can survive also which makes it more saddening in his final act he shoots the monster with a fatal shot when the monster attacks chris's escape pod number three steve burnside is a character you meet in resident evil code veronica and is also a playable character and while playing as claire during the story steve gets captured and experimented on which leads to a fight between claire and a mutated steve during the fight claire gets held by a mutated steve and steve comes to his senses and lets her go steve does die due to his injuries in a mutated state number four helena harper helena harper aided in the assassination of the president because her and her sister had been captured if she did not comply, Deborah would have been tortured if she didn't help, and sadly she was. Derek Simmons, the person who orchestrated the entire assassination, eventually does experiment on Deborah, Helena's sister. Later, while returning to the cathedral where the experiments were happening, Leon and Helena come across a mutated Deborah, and in the end, Leon, Ada, and Helena put her down. But which makes it more sad is the dialogue. The dialogue is probably some of, if not the best, in the franchise number five ethan winters ethan winters has have to have the worst fate in resident evil history in my opinion because the first thing he does when he gets the news that his wife is still alive he goes to the baker's resident in louisiana during the events of resident evil 7 to find out what happened and to rescue his wife mia who had gone missing and then he must rescue his daughter from mother miranda in Resident Evil 8. In conclusion, he has sacrificed so much to help save his family, but it all caught up to him. During the final act in Resident Evil 8, Ethan defeats Mother Miranda and Ethan is fading away because his mold is killing him inside and fading. His final act of kindness is what really tops off this list. Ethan sacrifices himself to destroy the Mega Mice, allowing Chris and his family to escape and get away. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to have to wrap up this video. On this list, let me know what you guys thought or which death you guys thought was the saddest or in your opinion, what could have been better, you know? Let me know down below. And then let me know about the editing in this video, if I was bad or if it was good, you know. My editing is getting better overall, guys, but I wanted to know if you guys would prefer subtitles or text, stuff like that, you know, to overall improve the quality of my videos going forward. But yeah, guys, that's going to have to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy, and I'll catch you guys later.